Hello students how are you all I hope that you all are fine So what do we have today Yes the lesson name is a tale of two birds What it is a tale of two birds Okay and this lesson is from your book a pet with the sun this is the book that you need to place right in front of you today so that you will follow what i will provide you the summary the explanation and of course the paragraphs also okay so sit tight and here i start The introduction of the lesson. This story speaks and depicts the meaning of that is express or portray the importance of the company one keeps, how one's company can impact one's behavior and build a character. Okay, so kids, uh, you must have heard your parents telling you that uh, a white bat company, yes. They used to tell you whenever you are outside playing with your friends because you don't know exactly what type of friends uh, you are surrounded with, okay? Maybe they are bad, maybe they are good. So well, your parents will definitely tell you that uh, you must you know, hang around or you must involve yourself with those people who are actually good in character, okay? Uh, see, don't mistake me. See, what I'm trying to tell you over here is that, that no one is bad. But sometimes you just have to be careful with such bad characters, okay? Because you don't know exactly what they're up to. They may harm you later and you won't be knowing at all, okay? So, uh, yes, you must listen to your parents whenever they say that you have to hang around or mingle with those friends who are having or bearing good characters okay yes so let me just give you the brief or say the summary of this story this story is all about a mother bird and her two newborn birds newborn babies you would say the mother died in a storm and uh, the sons got separated from each other in the thunderstorm due to the strong wind the tall tree that they lived on also fell and they were blown away to the other side of the forest that was seriously bad when it happened to them one of them reached near a gang of robbers and the other one landed near the Rishi's ashram okay uh, one day a king got exhausted while following a deer he came and sat under the tree near the cave of robbers there the king heard a big brown bird's voice it was calling the robbers to rob the king the king hurriedly got up from there and rode away. He reached near the Rishi's ashram. Here again, he heard the bird's voice, but it was a complete contrast to what he heard earlier. Okay, this bird asked the king to take rest inside the ashram and wait for the Rishi to come. The king was amazed to see the similar appearance of the birds, but this voice was too gentle. The bird told the king that his brother had learned that language from the robbers. When the Rishi came 
the king shared the story of the birds with him. The Rishi smiled and said that it was the impact of the company that was being reflected on the behavior of the birds. Yes, that's what I told you in the beginning, kids. Uh, if you are mingling with such a group which bear, okay, bad characters or say, who oh, don't talk nice to other people, okay, uh, you just have to be careful with such company. That's what I just have told you in the beginning. All right, uh, they may hurt you later on, or you will not be knowing that uh, you will become like them. And sometime you will show some kind of disrespect to elders and use such bad words actually. So that will be disliked by your dears and nears. Okay. That bird was not at fault. He was just repeating what he had heard and the forest was full of varied surprises. Okay, kids. So this is how the story begins. Okay, let me just give you some important details of the story. Uh, it is a tale of two birds, of course. Okay. There's a mother bird and her two young ones lived in a forest. The mother was killed in a storm and the young birds were separated from each other and each found a different home. So that's how this lesson is going to be. And then you will learn some new words also, which I will tell you the meaning, okay? So let me proceed with the first paragraph of this lesson. But before I do, what I want you to do is I need you to open the book. Which book? A Pat with the Sun. Okay. This is the another book of your class, of class sixth. Here I go with the first paragraph. There once lived a bird and her two newborn babies in a forest. They had a nest in a tall, shady tree, and there the mother bird took care of her little ones day and night. One day there was a big storm. There was thunder, lightning and rain and the wind blew down many trees. The tall tree in which the birds lived also came down. A big heavy branch hit the nest and killed the bird. Fortunately for the baby birds, the strong wind blew them away to the other side of the forest. One of them came down near a cave where a gang of robbers lived. The other landed outside a Rishi's ashram a little distance away. Now, the meaning of the words which are there in those paragraphs, okay? robbers it's there on the screen you may have a look at that and you must have got to know that uh, whom i'm talking about okay person who commits robbery a thief or a burglar they are called robbers okay you may have a look again on the screen for your better understanding the next word which is there in those paragraphs fortunately okay the spelling is f-o-r-t-u-n-a-t-e-l-y fortunately which means luckily happily or by good luck okay the another word which is there blue down b-l-e-w-d-o-w-n which means to make fall okay now, here I am with the explanation of the first paragraph and the second paragraph as well. This story is all about a mother bird and her two young ones in a forest. The mother bird was taking care of her babies in a tall, shady tree. One day, a fierce storm came and it made all the trees fall down. 
a big branch hit the nest and the mother bird was killed but luckily the baby birds were blown away to the other side of the forest and were saved one of them reached a cave of robbers the other one landed near a rishi's ashram okay here it how it happened when a thunderstorm and a cyclone in another word we would say like that this storm separated them and unfortunately the mother was killed in that storm the first bird it blown away and it reached to a place where the gang of robbers lived and the other bird fell near to a ashram of a rishi you know what is rishi yes rishi is actually who are called sages or sage okay yeah let me just proceed with the next paragraph days passed and the baby birds became big birds one day the king of the country came to the forest to hunt he saw a deer and rode after it it ran deep into the forest followed by the king soon the king lost his way and didn't know where he was okay uh, yes there's a word over there which is I'm supposed to tell you the meaning because probably you wouldn't know the meaning of that hunt H U N T hunt to chase and try to catch and kill or to pursue is called hunt okay now the explanation after a few days the baby birds became bigger one day the king of the country reached the forest he was hunting while hunting he noticed a deer and started chasing it the deer ran far away into the forest chasing the deer on horse the king lost his way okay this is what happened with this king because he was trying to chase a deer when he just saw it okay now let me read the next paragraph of this lesson he rode on for a long time till he came to the other side of the forest very tired by now he got off his horse and sat down under a tree that stood near a cave suddenly he heard a voice cry out quick hurry up there is someone under the tree come and take his jewels and his horse hurry or else he will slip away the king was amazed he looked up and saw a big brown bird on the tree under which he was sitting he also heard faint noises issuing from the cave He quickly got onto his horse and rode away as fast as he could. Now kids, there is a word over there. It's called amazed. A M A Z or Z E D amazed, which means surprised. Okay? And I don't find any more word which is supposed to be told by me. Yes, amazed. that is it now the explanation the king kept riding and reached the other side of the forest he got down from his horse as he was tired and sat under the tree near the cave all of a sudden he heard a voice asking to be quick and rob the person outside of his everything jewels horse The king was surprised to hear that and looked up to check. He noticed a big brown bird on the tree and faint noises coming from the cave. Quickly he mounted the horse and 
ran away. Uh, that bird was a little bit naughty and uh, that bird was trying to inform some people who were living inside the cave. And yes, that was this brown bird and the brother of the another bird, okay, which had fallen down near to the cave of gang of robbers. Okay, this is what had happened. So this was the first bird which I am talking about here right now. Okay, you must understand that why this bird was actually telling some people, those people whom this brown bird was informing or say telling that there is a person here sitting under a tree come quick and catch him so that you all can take his jewels okay uh, that word jewels okay this is the correct pronunciation of that word j-e-w-e-l-s it's jewels it's not jewels okay try to remember this kids this is not jewels okay but it's jewels okay this is how you need to pronounce this word because this is the correct pronunciation of that word jewels okay now the next paragraph the king was amazed to hear a similar voice again he came to know the bird's true story he met the rishi who explained the behavior of each bird Soon he came to a clearing which looked like an ashram. It was the Rishi's ashram. The king tied his horse to a tree and sat down at its shed. Suddenly he heard a gentle voice announce, Welcome to the ashram, sir. Please go inside and rest. The Rishi will be back soon. There is some cold water in the pot. Please make yourself comfortable. The king looked up and saw a big brown bird in the tree. He was amazed. This one looks like the other bird outside the cave. He said to himself loudly. Now, it's important for me to give you the meaning of a word over there and there is something important that i will be telling you about that word okay is it comfortable or comfortable yes the word which is coming on your screen right now is comfortable okay this is how you need to pronounce this comfortable c-o-m F-O-R-T-A-B-L-E You must be confused right now that uh, the sound of table because the spelling is T-A-B-L-E so the sound has to be table or it has to be pronounced as table, comfortable then you are wrong. See, whenever you see or whenever you encounter with such words which have table in them like this one comfortable okay so the meaning of comfortable suitable ought to be at ease now the explanation the king reached to an ashram of a rishi muni or a sage the king tied his horse to a tree and sat down in its shed here he heard a soft voice which greeted him and asked him to come inside and take a rest. It also told him to have cold water from the pot and be at ease till the Rishi comes. Surprised the king, looked up to check and again found a similar big brown bird in the tree. And this bird is related to the first bird which the king found 
nearby to the cave of those gangs of robbers okay and this bird was so gentle that this bird the same looking alike bird okay like the previous one that the king met was so gentle that this bird just asked the king to sit down and wait for the rishi to come and the way this brown bird the second bird addressing the king was superb this bird was addressing the king as sir now the next paragraph you are right sir answered the bird he is my brother but he has made friends with robbers he now talks as they do he doesn't talk to me anymore just then the rishi entered the ashram okay now the meaning of robbers again yes they are thieves okay and i don't find any word which is supposed to be told to you yes ashram of course ashram is a kind of a place where uh, such type of rishi muni sages are living or residing okay those are called ashrams okay now the explanation of that paragraph the bird told the king that he was right the bird was his brother but had befriended robbers do you understand that yes here this bird the gentle bird the brown bird or the second bird is telling the king that sir you are right the bird that you have found or met nearby to the cave of those robbers he has befriended with those robbers just because of that his language is not good he talks like that and uh, you know sometimes he will inform those robbers to come out and loot those people who are passing by so this is really bad right and uh, do you know kids why that bird has become like that yes because he fell into a place where there are robbers who used to talk bad or say who used to you know do all those notorious things and this bird he just learned only bad things bad words or he became a really bad bird okay that's why the company this bird found was not good and just because of that this bird became also like the robbers the bird added that he and his brother no longer talked to each other just then the rishi entered the ashram the bird was explaining everything or revealing everything to the king that uh, these two birds are brothers but actually now they don't talk to each other okay while he was telling everything to the king at that moment the rishi came to the ashram now the next paragraph welcome sir he said to the king please come inside and make yourself at home you look tired rest for a while then you can share my food welcome the meaning of that is of course to greet okay the rishi greeted the king and requested him to come inside and be at ease he also offered to share his food the king told the rishi the story of the two birds and how each had behaved so differently though they look so alike the forest is full of surprises he said alike a l i k e it means similar or identical okay which has the same face like the twins or something now the explanation the king explained the different behaviors of the two birds who looked alike he added that 
the forest was full of such surprises. Since the Rishi Muni has been staying in the forest, so he knows everything, everything about the forest that uh, what type of animals live there. Okay. Now in the next paragraph, the holy man smiled and said, "After all, one is known by the company one keeps. The bird has always." heard the talk of robbers he imitates them and talks about robbing people this one has repeated what he has always heard he welcomes people to the ashram now come inside and rest i will tell you more about this place and these birds uh, yes there is a word over there which i have to tell you the meaning imitates i am i t a t e s imitates which means copies okay whenever you are copy someone it's called imitating or imitate okay now i will give you the explanation of that paragraph the rishi smiled and explained the impact of the company one keeps the bird who heard robbers was repeating their words and the one who was with the rishi was speaking softly gently and was greeting the people who were come there okay this was a lot of differences between these two birds the rishi asked the king to take rest and offered to tell him more about the birds and the place okay this is how this lesson has ended and i hope that you have enjoyed and i hope also that you have learned something yes okay uh it is an important thing an important message that has been given in this lesson that uh, you need to get away or ignore such people who are talking bad or who use bad words okay because you may become like them okay and you would be disliked by many if you just have the habit of or if you bear such characters of bad people okay kids yes now i am moving ahead with the question answer sections and uh, those questions are given in your textbook i will provide you the answers also if you missed anything you may repeat watching this video and may write them down how did the two baby birds get separated the two baby birds were separated because of a fierce storm the meaning of fierce storm is powerful storm the strong winds made them fall far away now question number two where did each of them find a home answer one baby bird reached a cave of robbers and the other landed near a rishi's ashram question number three what did the first bird say to the stranger answer to that is the first bird said quick hurry up there's someone under the tree come and take his jewels and his horse question number four what did the second bird say to him answer to that is he said welcome to the ashram sir please go inside and rest the rishi will be back soon question number five how did the rishi explain the different ways in which the birds behave the rishi explained that the birds were reflecting the impact of their company now question number six which one of the following sums up the story best okay i'm repeating that question number six which one of the following sums up the story best i mean you will have to actually read these options which are given so that you will give a better answer okay uh, i have told you everything i have explained you everything about this lesson now it's easy for you just to find out okay so the first option is a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush 
and the second one is or second option is one is known by the company one keeps and the third option is a friend in need is a friend indeed so what do you think which one is actually suitable for the answer for that question number six okay it's one is known by the company one keeps sums up the story best okay so this is actually now the end of this lesson i hope that you have enjoyed this story and it is a short story and you must learn those messages which is actually provided by such story okay uh i'm gonna catch you next time in my next class this is a goodbye from me hashtag stay safe stay home sayonara <laughs>